Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to do some more mending. I'm mending my, my favorite stretchy pants. Now I guess these are called capri pants because they only go to my knee, but I had, I'm going to show you here, I'm going to put the trusty old plastic cutting board in here. Now I'm not going to repair this with a different colored thread so that you can really see what I'm doing, but I am going to get as close as I can so that you can see. Now these are stretchy and when they get caught on something, it's really a pain in the butt to fix. So let's get you closer and I'm gonna show you. Okay, these are turned inside out. And what we wanna do is we want to, these are, because it's stretchy, the fabric has rolled. And the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of go along here around the edge, rolling the fabric back just a tiny bit. And I'm going to weave a stitch through the length of the tear, is I just want to roll that edge just a little bit so that it doesn't roll up on the outside. And then I'm just going to weave a stitch along the edge first with some black thread to hold this kind of torn mangled edge open or back. Unfortunately this is going to mean a slight pucker but I would rather have a slight pucker than a gaping cut in my pants. And I paid $12 for these pants. You just want that, the rough edge taken care of, right? Now what this does is it stabilizes the edge. It's a bit fussy, but the truth is, I'm gonna turn this around. The, the more time you take with the repair, the better the repair looks. And again, we just roll that little edge just up as, as narrow as you possibly can and still get through both layers. And we do a running stitch here. This is not my favorite kind of repair, but it does save my favorite kind of pants. Um, so that I don't, I don't care if my clothes are mended, folks. I only care that they're, you know, they're clean. If they're clean and they're mended, then they'll do. And too many people throw things out because they don't know how to mend them properly. This should be a really much thinner needle, like a, a quilting sharp would be better. All right. I'm going to drop the needle through the hole. And then I'm going to turn these right back side out. Okay, so now we have a rolled edge on our cut. Okay? So here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go through the end here. And I'm going to come up here like this. And then I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go across and pick up the nearest edge on the other side and I'm going to pull it together. It is easier if you tighten as you go but I was trying to show you okay back under like this right to the very edge I'm going to go back through here and we're going to come up on the other side like this, give it a tug. 
Again, because I had to roll the edges under, this is going to be um, a little bit puckered. But it'll, ow, I'd rather have a little piece of puckered fabric. Then a hole showing my skin through. Like I said, there's a slight pucker, but now what I want to do is I just want to do a mild zigzag, pulling these edges together just to make sure nothing. You always go next to this where the stitch came out. Now you don't have to do this really, really tight. Why? Because it's stretchy fabric and if you do it too tight, it's, it's not gonna lay properly against your skin, which it probably won't right off the bat. Because we rolled those edges under, we are not likely to get you're going to get a bit of a puckered edge but you're not going to get the frayed edge showing right i'm going back next to the hole and i see so what i've done is i have stitched around the hole and then stitched it twice bringing the mended edges together it is not easy to sew a straight cut but if I would if I could have patched it I would have but guess what you don't patch stretchy material you just don't doesn't work at least not in my experience I'm sure there's more suitable sewers out there who can lost my thread. I love stretchy fabric folks but I hate repairing it and because I've woven it through several times, we can just clip that off. There's our repair right there. See, not that, you know, it's, it's repaired, right? I mean, you wouldn't wear it out on a date or anything, but look, my favorite pants are now repaired so that my skin doesn't show through. See, look. This is the Miss Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I don't want to do without these pants, so I repaired them. That's how I repaired a tear in my stretchy pants. Take care, God bless.